Hello everybody, welcome to Ultra Films Mask Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the German Draugr M65 gas mask. So let's review it. Alright, so the gas mask is inside this plastic canister. Now this is uh, my first plastic gas mask canister in my whole collection. I'll just have bags or just no containers at all. And this is pretty unique in my collection. And I really love it. It's really cool and it's a nice thing to add to any gas mask collection. It has a little strap for carrying it around. Then a strap down here with the hook and some strap, you know, thing to run the strap through. Bunch of strappy stuff, you know, just to keep it all nice and secure on you. Anyway, on the top is the size number of the gas mask. As you can see, this is a 2, size 2. And on top, is the Draugr symbol or brand as you can see right here Draugr and that's the gas mask brand that makes these so on the other side <laughs> is this thing right here which you can snap off and open it to reveal its contents under the lid is this weird little pouch thing I don't know what it exactly is for but I'm pretty sure it's just for extra storage Anyway, let's get our stuff out. Alright, so what we have here is a filter possibly containing asbestos, so I won't be trying it on today. If anybody in the comments knows exactly if this Draugr FENM filter contains asbestos, then you tell me. If not, I can do a separate test video for you guys. And inside as well, of course, is the gas mask itself. Here it is in all its glory, the M65. Alright, so first let's have a look at the filter. So this is a really, really neat filter. I like the way it's sealed. It has a string right here with the Draugr brand on it. Let's get it into focus right now. Alright. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyways, so you can see a bunch of numbers on top, possibly production dates and production numbers and stuff like that. And there's a bunch of stuff engraved in it too, the Draugr symbol and FE and M. So that possibly means it may or may not contain asbestos, as these old filters usually do. I also like the shape of this. It's different from the GP5. It's a bit more curved in a sort of sense. It's a bit more smooth. The GP5's like, you know what I mean. Anyway, at the bottom, it's some German, I believe. And if anybody can translate that, that'd just be really cool. But at the moment, I don't know if I have any translators in my small YouTube community. But who knows? We'll just see how it turns out. Anyways, so that was the filter for the gas mask. And now let's get on to the actual gas mask. Alright, so here's the Draugr German gas mask itself. The M65 is a German gas mask designed for military use. There is also a M65Z, which is for civil defense, which is still in use for training purposes as well as an in industry. The mask remained in military service till the late 90s when it was replaced by in service by the M2000. This mask features two triangular eyepieces, which are made of acrylic glass, and these lenses provide a great field of vision, which is very good, and it is also aided by the fact that the lenses almost never fog up, which is even better. And the mask uses an all-rubber five-point head harness that fits the wearer every, very comfortably. However, the head harness can be hard to adjust at times. Yeah, I do notice that um, the head harness does have this weird consistency to a, um, you know, swimming goggles you know because look at this it looks like a bunch of swimming goggles to me but yeah if it's made out of the rubber it's very similar consistency to this rest of this mask and it could be hard to adjust but anyways there's also this size up here it's a size 2 and there's also this Draugr uh, you know brand it also features this exhale valve up top inhale valve on the bottom and of course the two triangular lenses on the back has a couple of straps including this carry strap down here 
and there's like three holes in this one which looks pretty good. What else does it have? It has a oral nasal cup on the inside. As you can see right here, let me just pop that open. This mask came very warped. But yeah, it's an oral nasal cup. And the date, I think, when this was made was around the year 1973. So of course, loads of my masks are from the 70s and the Cold War. And this is one of them. So let's try this gas mask on. All right, so first things first, the balaclava, of course. <laughs> Always gotta make sure that hair is never torn off or sticking out of the straps of a gas mask. And also I'm gonna be using the prop filter. See my video of how to make this. It's as best as free, and it's not a real filter, but it's good if you're trying to try to make a movie or just demonstrate a gas mask looking like the whole entire gas mask, even though this isn't the official filter. So check that video out. All right, so let's go ahead and get our gas mask on. Let's see. All right, so make sure to strap it really tight onto your face. Or else, you know, you won't have an airtight seal, and it is a bit tough to strap it on because they have the consistency of swimming goggles, straps, so let's go ahead and do this. I think it's more harder to take off than it is to strap on. But we're able to do it anyways. No matter what. All right, so airtight seal, and like I said, this mask is definitely more comfortable than most gas masks. So if you need a recommendation on a more comfortable gas mask, this one's the way to go. And so anyways, I'm gonna put on this prop filter now, just to make it look complete. All right, so here we go. Here it is with the prop filter, and now you can just have a look at it. All right, so this is a really, really, really cool gas mask. I love the color and design. It just looks very World War II-ish, even though it's Cold War. But I also love the fact that it's German. You know, German gas masks are very neat in design and how they look and everything. And this thing looked especially good with a helmet. And let me just give you a demonstration. So right here I have this World War II British helmet replica. And it looks really cool with it on, doesn't it? I mean, look at that. It just looks freaking amazing. And you just have this full, complete. It just looks so complete and amazing. And then you're just left with this amazing, you know, whole get up and it just looks pretty freaking cool but anyway guys i hope you liked this video if you did leave a like and comment down below What's your favorite part about this video or how much you like this gas mask and also what other gas masks you want me to review in the future and uh, subscribe for more gas mask videos and other mask reviews and also just you know other reviews of different things this is technically a variety show if you think of it but thank you so much for watching like comment and subscribe and you will see me in the next video goodbye <laughs>